Asia's Top 10 Smart Cities – Transforming Urban Living Welcome to Asia, a continent of endless possibilities. Imagine a place where the past blends seamlessly with the future, where centuries-old traditions meet groundbreaking innovations. But let me ask you, what does the city of the future look like? Could technology solve the challenges of traffic jams, rising pollution and overcrowding? Stick around, because today we're exploring Asia's top 10 smart cities. These are the cities that are rewriting the rules of urban living, from Kuala Lumpur to Singapore. We'll dive into the challenges they faced, the bold ideas that shaped them, and the lives they've transformed. And here's something to think about as we go along. Could your city become a smart city? Let's dive in. Before we dive into Asia's top 10 smart cities, let me ask you, have you ever wondered what your city could look like in the future? Imagine cleaner streets, faster commutes, and smarter living. If that's a future you're excited about, let's make this journey together. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more fascinating content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Which city do you think will claim the hash? One spot. Let's find out together. Kuala Lumpur, with its iconic Petronas Towers, is a beacon of progress in Southeast Asia. But rewind to the early 2000s and the city faced mounting challenges. Traffic congestion that stretched for hours, inefficient government services, and rising pollution levels. The city needed a transformation. Did a under Prime Minister Najib Razak, the Kuala Lumpur Smart City Master Plan was introduced in 2010. It was a bold vision to create a more livable, efficient, and connected city. One flagship initiative is the five G-powered autonomous buses in Cyberjaya, the tech hub of Malaysia. These buses rely on AI to predict traffic patterns and adjust routes in real time, reducing travel times by 25% and cutting carbon emissions. But not everyone is on board. Critics argue that these advancements are threatening the livelihoods of traditional bus drivers. Another standout project is the smart kiosks installed across the city. These kiosks allow residents to renew licenses, pay taxes, and even lodge complaints in one place. While they've revolutionized public services, they also highlight a digital divide. Older residents who lack tech skills find them challenging to use. By 2030, Kuala Lumpur plans to integrate 80% of its public services into these systems, ensuring a seamless urban experience for all. Jakarta, home to over 10 million people, is a city full of energy and life. But for decades, this vibrancy was marred by crippling floods, poor waste management, and gridlocked traffic. Under the leadership of President Joko Widodo in 2014, Jakarta began its transformation into a smart city. One critical issue was flooding. Along the Siliwong River, IoT-enabled flood monitoring sensors were installed. These devices provide real-time water level data and send early warnings to residents through a mobile app. A local resident shared, last year, we had heavy rains, but because of the alerts, we had enough time to move our belongings and stay safe. Waste management has also improved. GPS-equipped trucks now optimize collection routes, making garbage collection faster and more efficient. Streets are cleaner, but the city still faces challenges in encouraging residents to segregate their waste at home. Jakarta's solar-powered bike-sharing program is another highlight. Located in the Sudirman CBD, it promotes eco-friendly commuting. However, the limited availability of bike stations in outer areas has drawn criticism. By 2035, Jakarta aims to expand these systems citywide, ensuring that every resident benefits from the city's smart solutions. New Delhi, India's capital, is a city of extremes. Its vibrant streets and rich culture mask deeper challenges. Some of the world's worst air pollution, an overstretched energy grid, and overcrowded public transport. In 2015, under Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the Smart City mission was launched to address these issues. 
One of the mission's most impactful projects is the Bawana Solar Power Plant, which generates clean energy for over 300,000 homes. This project has significantly reduced the city's reliance on coal. However, high installation costs mean similar projects aren't easily scalable. To tackle air pollution, New Delhi introduced the SAFAR app, which provides real-time air quality data and health advisories. Residents now use this app daily to plan their activities, but critics argue that technology alone isn't enough without stricter pollution controls. The city's fleet of electric buses has also been a game-changer, reducing urban emissions by 15%. But expanding this system requires significant investment in charging infrastructure. By 2040, New Delhi aims to become a net-zero emissions city, proving that even the most polluted capitals can transform. Bangkok is a city of contrasts. Its lively markets and stunning temples coexist with frequent flooding, relentless traffic, and limited green spaces. Governor Aswin Kwan Muang in 2018 introduced smart city solutions to tackle these challenges. Along the Chao Freya River, IoT flood sensors now provide early warnings, reducing flooding in critical areas by 30% but upstream infrastructure is still needed to mitigate larger disasters. The city's digital ticketing system on the BTS SkyTrain has made commuting more efficient. Millions of residents use this system daily, but accessibility remains limited in less connected districts. In Bangsu, the city is developing sustainable housing projects. These homes feature green roofs, solar panels, and energy-efficient designs, offering residents a healthier and more sustainable lifestyle. By 2035, Bangkok plans to double its green spaces and expand its smart systems, creating a city that's both resilient and livable. Seoul is a city where technology meets tradition, but in the 1990s, the city struggled with pollution, urban sprawl, and safety concerns in public spaces. Under Mayor Park Wonsoon, Seoul launched several smart city initiatives. In Gwangwaman Square, AI-powered police robots now patrol public areas, using cameras and sensors to detect suspicious activity. Residents feel safer, but privacy advocates have raised concerns about surveillance. Another success is Shulo 7017, a former highway transformed into a pedestrian walkway lined with green spaces. This project has revitalized the area, though critics argue that underserved neighborhoods still lack such initiatives. In Songdo, smart homes allow residents to control their appliances, lighting, and even grocery deliveries via apps. By 2030, Seoul aims to increase green spaces by 30%, blending technology with nature to enhance urban life. Hong Kong, a global financial hub, is a city defined by its density and vibrancy. But this density has brought challenges, limited space, inefficient waste management, and severe congestion. In 2017, under the leadership of Chief Executive Carrie Lam, Hong Kong adopted its Smart City Blueprint, a comprehensive plan to tackle these issues with innovation. One of the city's flagship projects is its autonomous tram system in the Central District. These trams, equipped with AI-powered navigation systems, operate more efficiently and reduce carbon emissions. A commuter described them as quiet, smooth, and a glimpse into the future. However, critics argue that the limited tram coverage excludes many high-density neighborhoods. Waste management is another area where Hong Kong has innovated. IoT-enabled waste bins, particularly in busy areas like Causeway Bay, now notify collection trucks when they're full, optimizing routes and saving resources. Residents appreciate cleaner streets, but challenges remain in encouraging recycling and reducing overall waste. The Kai Tak redevelopment project, built on the site of the city's old airport, is a model of smart urban planning featuring energy-efficient buildings, sustainable transport links, and green public spaces, it showcases how limited land can be maximized for urban living. 
Hong Kong aims to integrate renewable energy into 50% of its public infrastructure by 2030. However, the city's reliance on traditional energy sources remains a hurdle. The question is, can Hong Kong fully balance its high-tech ambitions with its environmental goals? Taipei, Taiwan's capital, has emerged as a leader in healthcare innovation and green technology, but this transformation didn't happen overnight. In the 1990s, Taipei faced growing energy demands, limited digital infrastructure, and public healthcare inefficiencies. Under the leadership of Mayor Ko Wenjie, the Taipei Smart City project was launched in 2016 to address these challenges with bold, technology-driven solutions. Taipei's AI-powered healthcare systems have been a game-changer. In hospitals like Taipei Veterans General, doctors now use AI to analyze patient data in real time, improving diagnoses and treatment plans. This system has significantly reduced waiting times, though, Critics point out the high costs of implementation in smaller hospitals. In the Nehu district, Taipei is transforming residential areas with smart housing developments. These homes are equipped with energy-efficient appliances, solar panels, and IoT systems that allow residents to control lighting, security, and appliances remotely. A resident shared, I feel safer and more connected to my home even when I'm away. However, the cost of these developments remains prohibitive for middle and lower income families. Taipei's iconic Taipei 101, once the tallest building in the world, has also embraced sustainability. The skyscraper now features LLED lighting and smart energy systems, reducing its energy consumption by 30%. By 2030, Taipei aims to expand its smart systems citywide, making healthcare, housing, and energy solutions accessible to all residents. But as with any ambitious plan, the question remains. Can Taipei overcome the economic barriers to make these innovations truly inclusive? Tokyo, the largest metropolitan area in the world, is a city of contrasts. Known for its bustling Shibuya crossing and cutting-edge technology, it has also faced significant challenges, overcrowding, pollution, and the constant threat of earthquakes. Under Governor Yuriko Koike's leadership, Tokyo has embraced smart city initiatives to ensure safety, sustainability, and efficiency. One of Tokyo's most innovative projects is its earthquake-resistant buildings, particularly in areas like Shinjuku. These structures are equipped with advanced shock-absorbing technology that minimizes damage during seismic events, saving countless lives. Imagine skyscrapers that sway gently but remain standing even during the most powerful quakes. Transportation has also seen a massive upgrade. The Tokyo Metro, one of the busiest subway systems in the world, now uses AI-powered scheduling systems that predict congestion and adjust train intervals in real time. This has reduced delays by 15% and improved commuter experiences. The city is also rethinking urban design. Walkable neighborhoods like Marunucci have been redeveloped to prioritize pedestrians, featuring green spaces and sustainable infrastructure. However, critics argue that these developments often favor affluent areas, leaving lower-income districts underserved. By 2030, Tokyo plans to increase its reliance on renewable energy by 30%, aiming to become not only a tech leader, but also a global model for sustainable urban living. Shanghai, China's largest city and economic powerhouse, is a city that never stops evolving. But in the early 2000s, it grappled with significant challenges, rising pollution, heavy traffic congestion, and the need for sustainable urban growth in a rapidly expanding population. Under the leadership of Mayor Ying Yong in 2016, Shanghai launched its comprehensive Smart City Action Plan to address these issues and lay the groundwork for a sustainable, tech-driven future. 
One of Shanghai's most groundbreaking projects is its AI-powered traffic management system. Installed citywide, this system collects real-time data from over 1,000 sensors and cameras, optimizing traffic flow by adjusting signals dynamically. Residents report a 15% reduction in commute times, though critics argue that some underdeveloped areas have yet to benefit. In Pudong, the city's financial district, Shanghai has embraced green architecture. The Shanghai Tower, the world's second tallest building, is a symbol of this transformation. It features wind turbines, advanced insulation, and a double-skin facade that reduces energy consumption by 25%. Shanghai is also a pioneer in integrating blockchain technology into public services. Residents can now access healthcare, manage property transactions, and process government permits through blockchain powered platforms, reducing bureaucracy and improving transparency. Shanghai is also testing autonomous shipping solutions along the Yangtze River. These self navigating vessels use AI to chart the safest and most efficient routes, reducing both fuel consumption and shipping times. Critics, however, highlight concerns over potential job losses for traditional dock workers. By 2035, Shanghai aims to become a global leader in smart city innovation, with plans to expand renewable energy integration, enhance AI applications, and create smart districts accessible to all residents. Finally, we arrive at Singapore, often considered the gold standard for smart cities worldwide. But let's not forget the challenges this city faced. With limited land, no natural resources, and a rapidly growing population, Singapore's future seemed constrained. Under Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, the government launched the Smart Nation Initiative in 2014 to turn these limitations into opportunities. One standout project is in Pungal, where vertical farms use hydroponic technology to grow fresh produce in urban spaces. These farms use 90% less water than traditional farming methods, ensuring food security in a land-scarce city. Singapore is also a leader in autonomous transportation. In the One North District, self-driving cars now shuttle residents safely and efficiently. These vehicles use AI to navigate busy streets and avoid obstacles, offering a glimpse into the future of urban mobility. Even Singapore's iconic Marina Bay Sands is part of its sustainability efforts. The resort uses energy-efficient systems that have reduced its carbon emissions by 30%, demonstrating that luxury and sustainability can go hand in hand. Singapore's success is not without its critics. Some argue that its high-tech systems are too expensive to replicate in less affluent cities. However, the city continues to push boundaries, aiming to become carbon neutral by 2030. It's a vision of the future that combines technology, sustainability, and resilience. Asia's smart cities are transforming the way we live, work, and connect. From Kuala Lumpur's autonomous buses to Singapore's vertical farms, these cities showcase the power of innovation in overcoming urban challenges. But let's not forget the trade-offs. While technology has improved lives, it has also raised questions about privacy, affordability, and inclusivity. These are challenges that every city must navigate on its journey to becoming smart. So now we want to hear from you. Which city's story inspired you the most? What do you think are the biggest opportunities and challenges of building smart cities?